Hey, we're here at HIA. We're right now. It's actually not too bad, but they have certainly felt the impact of this worldwide tech outage. And to tell us a little bit more about it is Scott Miller. He works with Harrisburg International Airport. Scott, just tell us a little bit about what has this looked like here today at the airport. Well, this morning especially, it was it was confusing. You know, for the airline staff, they're working very hard to get communications worked and get people booked on the aircraft. And the morning flights were de delayed. You know, we had a couple cancellations, uh, two, three hour delays. Right now, we have seven more departures today, four of which are delayed, three of which are listed on time. It's getting better as we go, but it was, it was a calm, chaotic scene this morning as people just waiting for uh, the ability to get on their plane and go where they're trying to go. Well, that's what I was going to say. Be describe that for us because I think this really emphasizes how much we are connected and how much we rely on technology. What does this do to an airport of this size? What it does for the airlines, it makes it difficult because there are certain procedures you have to follow with check-ins, with bags, with IDs and things like that. So that stuff wasn't working well. And so people had a hard time checking in for their flight, getting their boarding pass. So it just made the process, there's a manual process they use to back things up. They're prepared for stuff like this. It just takes a lot longer. Yeah. And so what happened was they got the security fine and they just had to wait. And yeah. they just waited and waited to the gate areas until it was safe to fly. Everything got relined up again and off they went. And so their system's recovering. It's much better now than it was 12 hours ago and tomorrow morning, will be much better. Yeah. So it's just it, patience is, yeah. is what it takes. And, and I know we got to move on, but I do want to ask this for anybody who will be flying later on tonight anywhere in the area. What advice do you have for them? Make sure you dot into your airline's app because their communications is coming back. It's the best way for them to get you updated on your flight status. That's the key. Prepare for it to be on time, but if it's going to be delayed or something like that, they'll communicate to you through the app. That's good to know. Scott, thank you so much for, uh, for taking time to talk to us. Yep. We appreciate it.